Hello, this is Hakadabi, and I'm here with SCP-131, also known as the iPods. If you liked the video, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below. Now let's get into this. Item number, SCP-131. Object class, safe. Special container procedures. No special safety procedures are to be taken with SCP-131-A and SCP-131-B. They are free to travel about Site-19 so long as they do not attempt to enter any restricted areas or attempt to leave the facility. Casual contact with the, the subjects is permitted, but it is recommended that such contact be kept in minimum to prevent the creatures from forming an attachment to personnel. Early tabs are to be kept on subjects at all times, while you are to account for their presence and at all times constitutes a level 1 lockdown situation. Any report of uh, abuse or mistreatment of the subjects will result in harsh reprimand. Description SCP-131 and SCP-131 SCP SCP-131-A and SCP-131-B, affectionately named the iPods by personnel, are a pair of teardrop-shaped creatures roughly 7 meters, 30 centimeters, or 1 foot in height, with a single blue eye in the middle of their bodies. What the hell? Anyway. SCP-131-A is burnt orange in color, while SCP-131-B is mustard yellow. Oh. And the base of each creature is a wheel-like protrusion which allows for locomotion, suggesting that the creatures may be biomechanical in origin. The subjects can move surprisingly fast, covering over 60 meters 200 feet, in a matter of seconds. The subjects, however, lack a braking system, which has led to some rather spectacular, if not overly amusing, mishaps involving the creatures. The subjects have also shown the ability to climb sheer surfaces and have gotten lost in the air vents on more than one an occasion. These are really cute, honestly. These subjects seem to have the intelligence of common house cats and are insatiably curious. Most of the, uh, the time, they simply roll around a facility, observing personnel at work, and catching pigs at other safe class SCPs. The subjects seem to be able to communicate with, uh, with each other via an, an, an untranslatable, high-pitched babbling. The subjects have never been observed to blink, even in laboratories when the subjects have been videotaped for over 18 consecutive hours. So, that means they would be perfect for containing SCP-173. <clears throat> Which, actually, there is a story of them doing. Anyway, the soldiers seem to respond well to any affection given to them and will quickly bond to the giver of said affection, much in the same way a puppy bonds with a human being. They will follow anyone or anything they've made a bond with anywhere, even into normally restricted areas. Although curious, these subjects can sense danger in their, vis in their general vicinity. And if the object of their bond begins to approach something they register as dangerous, e.g. E e e Euclid or Keter class objects, they will swarm around their body under companion's feet or appropriate extremities while babbling in a panic tone as to warn them. Because of the dangers faced by a Site 19 staff in dealing with Euclid and Keter class objects, it's recommended that staff avoid making attempts to bond with the subjects, as they can pose a distraction during delicate operations and experiments and may pose a danger to the subjects themselves. See other than 113 131 1. If these subjects are ignored by their target long enough, they will eventually lose interest and return to their normal activities. It should be noted that the subjects require no real care or maintenance from the site staff. They do not eat, leave, leave droppings, or even sleep. It would seem that the only sustenance they require is a visual stimulation, although this requires further study to verify. Subjects SCP-131 and SCP-131-A and SCP-131-B were found in a cornfield outside blank in the year 19 blank. They were probably transported to Site-19 via that expunge and were then downgraded to safe class and given free reign across as the site once it became clear they were not broadcasting what they saw to any hostile foreign powers. Addendum 131-1 During an incident that took place on an unknown date, the subjects followed one of the cleaning staff on routine cleaning of the container of SCP-173. After their normal attempts to warn the cleaner of the danger, 
or were ignored. The creatures rushed into the container in front of him, and the other two Upar is now on duty. Once inside, staff members observed the subject, sitting in front of, of SCP-173 and watching it intently, as if aware that it could only move if, if unobserved. The cleaners ignored the presence of uh, the subject and continued with the bi-weekly cleaning in as per standard procedures. When the cleaning crew left, these subjects did as well, rolling backwards slowly and never taking their eyes off, S off of SCP-173. Current applications of SCP-131-A and scp one thirty one and B as wardens for SCP-173 and perhaps other SCPs which require constant observation such as SCP-689 are being considered. Anyway, that is the iPods. Adorable little creatures that just love to oh, oh, be around and help people. They're like little cats, except they don't poop. So they're like easier to take care of than cats. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And if not, please don't waste six minutes of your life listening about uh, cute iPods that you don't even like. I'll see you next time. Goodbye!